Now the owner said that one of his friends, the dog, had died after dental scaling, after going home. So he didn't want to go to that vet. This is a Be Kind to Pets Veterinary Educational Video sponsored by Topaya Vets. Veterinary medicine and surgery come alive to vet students and pet owners. Physical so examination. We'll start with looking at the color of the mucous membrane. Now, as you can see, mucous membrane, the capillary refill time, capillary refill time is a. Uh, is, uh, Less than two seconds. Okay. Now this dog has bad breath and, and uh, periodontal disease stage four, where the gums are receded. As you can see there. Normally, there shouldn't be exposure of the roots. But the roots are exposed, and the tartar is very thick. As you can see. So this is a grade 4 periodontitis. Now this tartar is not so thick here, but uh, you can see it's not thick. For 7 years, there was no dental scaling. Now uh, overall, this is gingivitis, tissue attachment loss. Normally the gum line should be up to here, which should be the horizontal line like that. But uh, now the roots are exposed and uh, there's bad breath, but overall the dog is is uh, in, in a normal condition. So now I'm going to check the heart. Check the heart and the lungs. This is a part of physical examination. The lungs. Check for lung sounds, abnormal lung sounds. The left side and the right side. This side will be the other side. The heart sounds are normal, although it's irregular. The lungs, there are no lung sounds. Then I check the abdominal sounds, intestinal sounds. There are some sounds from intestinal contractions. So that I do the palpation. Palpation is more for the abdomen, so abdominal palpation to feel any enlargement of the liver or spleen or tumors because this is a 7 year old dog. Uh, there's no, no swelling, no pain, kidneys and liver and spleen are, are normal, no enlargement. Bladder is normal, check the testicle, testicle is normal, no pain, and so overall on physical examination, this dog should be okay for general anesthetic and surgery. Anesthesia and surgery. For this dog, 7 year old male, Shetland, for dental scaling, I give <coughs> Lasix, Betril, and Vitamin B complex IV. After giving a drip, the dog has been sedated with 50%. Of the normal dose, and uh, then I will put on the gas as a fluorine, and then the scaling will be done. Now you can see this dog is sedated now. Dental scaling. To remove the butter first by cracking it and then scaling. It. Of the teeth. And the teeth here at one percent maintenance. The top is very deep. You can see the eyes eyeball has rolled down. So we have to be careful. Be careful. Check the eyes. Yeah. 
It's very deep now. Yeah. If it's very deep, then we will drop to to uh, 0 0.5 percent. 0 0.5 percent at uh, 10:54 p.m. Very bad breath here. Yeah. And see the eyes. So the eyeball has rotated downwards. Even at 0 0.5 percent, this shows that it's quite the sedation has uh, been uh, effective. So the minimum anesthetic, the better. So although normal maintenance is two percent, but now we are doing a conclusion. So it's important that dogs don't die under dental scaling because this affects the. The reputation of the vet, and uh, the owners will not uh, will, will not want to send the dog to any vet who's, who who have deaths under anesthesia. So to do anesthetic for this dog, old dog, which with minimum sedation, the less the better. And they use as a foreign gas, and uh, normally there should be no deaths. Uh, the best is an IV drip with uh, antibiotics inside before the, the anesthetic, that should be the best. So other than that, we check everything, the, the temperature, the heart rate, the pulse rate, and uh, this dog is normal and should not die under anesthesia. So now we will proceed with the blood test, which the owner doesn't want, x-ray the owner doesn't want, so we will just, uh, based on physical examination, that this dog should be okay for GA, but we will run the drip before anesthesia.